Hello, I'm Paddy from creativemedia.org.uk and I've got my hands on an X Keys macro keyboard. What on earth is it? Well, this is a brilliant thing for anyone who does lots of office work and any repetitive tasks, not just office work, creative stuff as well. These are mostly sold in the creative industry to sort of be programmed to be customised special keyboards for video mixers and audio and animation and photo retouching, things like that. But in the office, they save you so much time. Um, I'm always doing a lot of copying and pasting and switching tabs and all that <coughs> stuff, and my thumbs are hurting a bit. And it's just fatiguing having these long sequences of keyboard shortcuts. Even worse if you're using the mouse, it just takes ages, sort of sliding mouse to copy, to paste, change tab, etc. So this keyboard is superb, and it can do anything that you can do on the keyboard, pretty much. There are other ways to do this which are absolutely free. There's a program called Auto Hotkey which allows you to program macros and assign them to keyboard shortcuts. But I've always found using that, the amount of time it takes me to set up and program the macro um, against the amount of time I'm going to be saving is sometimes not really matched up. So I just end up doing the long repetitive work because it would just take me too long to do the alternative. This, on the other hand, is really quick. You get your Macro Maker software. I've got an old version here because this is an old version of the keyboards and the latest 3.1 version of Macro Maker doesn't work with this. But the 3.0 Macro Maker still works with Windows 10, which is quite a relief. So if I wanted to program a key, I could press the key on the keyboard. You can just see up here, there's a couple of boxes have appeared. I can click in the top one and press records, simply um, type my sequence of keys that I want to record. If I go into the software that I'm going to be using my key sequence in, using the mouse, obviously if I use the key it would record that key and everything would go wrong, but if I use the mouse to go into say Excel and then perform my activity there, come back to here and say stop, then it will have recorded my keyboard sequence and I'll know it's the right sequence because I'll have actually done it in Excel or whatever. The two boxes, um, the top one is for the key down activities and the bottom one is for key up activities. So when you let go of the key, it does other things, which you can do all kinds of clever things with. But I've found that if I'm doing an, an action which copies something from one program, switches to another program and then pastes it into it, I need to do the pasting actions in the key up section, otherwise it doesn't work properly. It took me a while before I worked that out. It'll also do other things like inserting pauses, depending on which computer and which software you're using. You can actually make it record in real time or just make it hammer out the keys as quickly as it can. So you can do all kinds of... You, 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 could, you, could, you could sort of fake a conversation by having different phrases on different keys and make it look like you were typing slowly. Quite good for animation and things like that, maybe. So that's how it works. I'll press the cancel button here so I don't record what I'm about to do. I've got this set up with my nice colourful handwritten keys here. You get a bunch of key stickers so you can... Um, I've coloured in some of them. Um, so you can stick different um, labels on each key and when you run out you can just make your own bits of paper. Each of these has clear key tops which clip off. You put your paper underneath and stick them back on so it feels like a proper keyboard. I've got six keys here, which open... Oops, they didn't do it like that. Just need to get out of here. Right, try that again. That opens notepads. I've got an F key here, which does a find operation. Let's close that again. Um, I can open Chrome. I've got these keys go between the different tabs in Chrome. So that saves a lot of time on that kind of control tab thing, which is what does the most harm to my thumb. I've got an undo, I've got a close window, so I can close my tabs as well as switching between them. Um, I can go to Excel with that key. I can go to my file manager, I can go to Teams, I can go to email. These are actually working using Windows shortcuts, which connect to the taskbar, things that are pinned to the taskbar. Uh, if the programs are open, it just switches to them, and if they're not open, it will actually run the programs for you, so that's really handy. And here on the top I've got my wildcard keys 
which I tend to kind of program on, on, on the fly if I'm going to be doing something time consuming that I might not be doing very often. I can program a key sequence into that just in less than a minute usually. And sort of just remember that I press key A at this stage and key B at that stage. I think that's pretty much all there is to be said. They're not cheap, these things. They cost a bit. Um, but if you can scare your boss into thinking you're going to put in a repetitive strain injury um, case against them or just th that it will save you a lot of time, then um, do have a go. They, they do some that are small, about the size of this central section. Some have dials on, so you can dial in different numbers. Some have kind of video-style sliders on, and they can make custom ones for you as well to um, to meet any particular needs. The company is called Pi Engineering, and the unit is called X Keys. Thanks for watching, and I hope that can save you some time. If you get get your hands on one of these, then get in touch on the comments and. Let me know how it goes. I've just started with this today, really, using it in earnest. And I'm planning to set it up for my Mac computer to control my music software as well. And I think if I if I put a sticker across the top here for all the like, play and stop and forward and back buttons, then I can keep my PC stickers on and just kind of be able to work out what's going on for when I'm using it on the Mac. Okay, happy, happy working. <laughs> Cheers.